What's up? It's the Gigabyte Grizzly Bro here, and this is a messed up time we live in, so I need you all to do me a favor. Wear your mask. Like this? Not like this? Or like this? Or like this? Like this? Wear your mask. It's for your safety and mine. Because if I see you without one, I'm going to pump kick a mask onto your face. Got it? announcement from Benjamin C. Steele talking to you about wearing a mask. Not this one, but this one. With everything going on right now with this pandemic, you need to wear a mask. My mask is for your safety. Your mask is for mine. Now, I don't care what your uncle's, brother's, best friend's, mailman's, roommate from college put on social media. Chances are they didn't think it through and there's a very better than average chance that they're an idiot. So when you go outside, you put on your little mask over your face, put the little straps around your ears, and we're all gonna be a lot safer. This is 18. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Just Pro Wrestling News Podcast. No filler, no pop-ups. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you, supporting us at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. We're gonna go partying, baby. We're gonna go party like it's 1351 BC, baby! Woo! That's right, 1351 Egyptian style. No. So come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got it. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, talking professionalized wrestling. I am Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I am excited to join all of you on the internets all across the Mayhem Nation. We got a great crew with us here this evening. First of all, we got from... I almost said your old town, uh, in Beacon, New York. You've moved like four times since you've been on this show, I'm realizing now. He is the only Mayhemmer with the In Future Endeavor letter from WWE and the only Mayhemmer who has a wedding reception this week. He is Mad Mike. That's true. Um, uh, yeah, it's uh, and this microphone is hanging out for dear life. It, it so very is. Apology, apologies in advance for any potential is, technical difficulties. This is the original uh, uh, Mad Mike microphone. The mm -hmm. original, I'm going to have to get a new headset. The original Mad Microphone, so please bear with us in our audio issues with him. Uh, he might be moving it, fumbling it. Uh, the audio is going to get better and worse as it drops to his shirt and starts making scratchy sounds like it did last night on the Monday show. But we're going to sort through this, okay? And I'm, I'm going to try and stay as perfectly still as possible, so and, and, don't get me riled up. And so I'm going to see about giving him a headset. <laughs> oh, oh, oh are, you, are you worried about me tonight? 
Are you? Yeah. Are you Sorry, worried? I'm about always me? worried about you. Are you real? I mean, you and Matt almost came to uh, internet blows last night. And uh, no, I've been having a completely normal day. But we also have with us, back with us, two days in a row. Holy crap. Ronnie Starks is with us. He's getting all this in before he goes to Florida for an extended period of time here, apparently. Ooh. Ronnie, how you doing? I'm good. It's me. It's me. It's R O N N I E. And I'm the Grizzle Vet of Indie Wrestling at Bay B. Wow. Former Grizzle Vet, whatever. Former, current. I don't know. Am I retired you, right now? Yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> Am I retired right now? <laughs> we need to book you on one more. What is show. questions Terry Funk asks himself? <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Yes. Forever. Forever. Oh, boy. And also joining us, uh, we, you saw the video or heard the video at the top of the show uh, from from a little bit ago at RWA. Uh, uh, we we had a long time booking bookings here with Tony Kincaid to come on and talk about the RWA show coming up. Um, but as you can see, he was dragged off by one, the Rev Ron Hunt and Chris Taylor for a celebration party this, and we have not seen him since, including, uh, checking in for the show tonight, but, but that's okay. We have Doc Doherty of RWA joining us here tonight. Doc, how you doing at the last minute? Thank you for hopping on. Not a problem. It's an honor to be here. You know, I've always wanted to get on the show and stuff. And, you know, it's really, really exciting. I, I'm ex very excited to talk about RWA this Saturday. We got some hell of some, hell of some matches. And again, Tony Kincaid is missing. It's just, it's been insane. He wasn't there at the last RWA show. And I was told by uh, my friends, I'm legally obligated not to talk about what is really happening with him. Okay. Okay. I, do we do we think he's going to show up this week, or or for work, or or not? Or is he like the Hangman Page that we need to send him? Like, is he using all of his PTO days with the RWA? First of all, I, I don't really want to compare him to Hangman Page at all. Just you know, <laughs> happening. Sorry. I know it's a stretch, uh, but compare it to Boys Us to Gabriel's. Uh, but what I was going to say is, uh, yeah. say this and say this only. I feel that you know with what happened sometimes i you know i try to tell tony before they drug him off as you all saw against his own will i i'm really really worried about him i'm believe it or not i as as bad as he treats me i am worried about tony kincaid mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um one of the things i will say is this uh when i go out with chris taylor and you know i've been on many shenanigans with that man yes offer to drive mm -hmm. that's way they don't feed you alcohol mm-hmm Mm -hmm. I didn't get to tell him that. I accidentally forgot to tell him that when they when they took him away. Right, so. right. Oops. So my and, bad. And bear with us if you're joining us here on video. And he's having we're having some very interesting bandwidth issues with you, and he keeps shrinking on the screen. So if you're seeing that happening, that's a Zoom thing that's happening out there. So. We're just podcasting from the quantum realm. That's yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. My now, I, I have a question about Kincaid. Is this a Go put ahead. the lotion on the skin, or you get the hose again situation? Is he, is he locked get, in the basement somewhere? I, I, I have two best friends that are also involved in this, and I kind of want to you know, keep their records clean. Okay. So, well, okay. so well, at least yeah. with Rev there, if anything really serious happens, all they need is also an old priest. Well, they just have to yeah. exercise the demons, man. That's all. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, you got a mm. point there, too. Exercise the demons. <laughs> yeah. Or waking yeah. the demons when if you've ever uh, ever party with Chris Taylor and lasted till the morning. So, so I did not, unfortunately. With, with, <laughs> without confirmation. My Valentine wrote a song about it. Without uh, confirmation, uh, we will leave it to the chat room to wildly speculate, because we're a wrestling podcast, and that's what we do, about what has happened to Tony Kincaid in his adventures with uh, Mr. Taylor and Mr. The Rev. Ron Hunt. I'm uh, sure he's fine. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure he's more than fine. <laughs> It'll that, be fine. You know, I mean, you It'll know, if you don't fine. remember the bad times, were there really bad times? But anyways, uh, we're talking about the good times, and that's including emailing us at that email address. Good times. Good times. Good times. Oh, no, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What? It's spooky. It's spooky month. Good times. Good, good times. Oh, you're doing the thriller. I see. Okay, okay. Yes. okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, you're getting out of frame a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, why is he reaching? Like, he's reaching for the ceiling, but he's not using both hands, so it's not raising the roof. 
kind yeah, of no, did like so, a Rex I mean, thing going. Like, yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Whenever you got to be in cadence, though. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, yeah, there you go, but there I mean, you, go. you know, I also didn't want to mess up my microphone. So there's only so. Yeah, there's a, there's a don't want to mess it up. Want to knock there's anything off the table. Here. You know, don't want to offend the cat. I, you know, I get it. Yeah. I get it. I, that's a gif. I'm just saw it on the replay there of of Doc's T Rex. So, um, but anyways, that and two four one two two zero six W M S zero is the voicemail, and oh. And actually, uh, that that's interesting. Let me let me uh, we'll, we'll hold on to that for a second. We might have something from that. Uh, also, you can hit us up uh, wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Hit us up on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and group. A lot of great discussion happening over there. And if you don't want to do that, and we've shared the links on our social media or even just add us, we should link it somewhere. Uh, we do have a Discord server. If you don't like Facebook, have recently deleted your Facebook, or Facebook isn't down at the moment, which is happening more and more. Uh, so so we got alternatives, guys. So yeah, check out the Wrestling Mayhem Show Discord server for that. This is the wrong show notes. Why do I open the awesome cast? Uh, you can also <laughs> please subscribe to us on your favorite podcast provider. And also you have the options of hitting up the Wrestling Mayhem Show super feed. So you get all of the Mayhem Show wrestling action. And, of course, the uh, Sorgatron Master Feed that gets all of the great shows here on the network. And, uh, and also, just a side reminder, uh, please subscribe independently because I don't want to blow up anybody else's feed with a daily show. Uh, just Pro Wrestling News Podcast is our spinoff uh, with uh, the great Matt Carlin's giving you your news in five minutes or less. You heard it at the top of the show. Yeah, I don't have to say it. We already talked about it at the top of the show. That's right. Uh, also, thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Thank you to our current supporters supporters at the fan of the show level bo diggity Ooh. is that better is that more oh, halloweeny he's, he's a ghost Ooh. it's spoopy season uh as well he's as boo diggity ed burke and team hammerfist our buddy down in florida and uh, of course at the poppy club level day partner occupy pro wrestling.com out there on the west coast and bobby fj town at the pizza club of our friends doc remedy cal turner and the riz and at their manager level bradley don't let Ray Lynn get me, Ruthers. Uh, don't know the King of Butts. Did you see? I the really, King of Butts. really wish I would have been there for that. I just, I just saw the video on so, that, and so, like, it just bummed me out. So what happened? So, so yeah, so, so yeah. Bradley had uh, there was a uh, Ray Lynn uh, had just uh, lost a match um, to one um, uh, Nikita. Oh, Nikita Knight. Nikita Knight. Thank you. Top um, prospect uh, in Rise right now. She's yeah. she's she's amazing worker. Uh, she also gave Thunder Rosa one hell of a match in AEW Dark. Uh, you know, it, it, it's pretty amazing because just like Lady Frost's first official wrestling match was on Monday Night Raw. Mm -hmm. uh, she uh, and I can think against Oscar, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Nikita's first official match was on AEW Dark. Mm -hmm. Like this was her promotion. This was her home promotion debut. This past weekend, and she's already booked on a bunch of promotions. So I, I don't know. If it, maybe you guys saw it going around, but uh, you know, um, just a, a few uh, a, a weeks or months ago, over the summer, Lee uh, Moriarty had shared uh, they were working out. I think down at the Stronghold, and she was doing some some of this pop up spin moves, you know, kind of stuff, like a great sequence of moves. And I think already everybody wanted to book her. And one, I don't think she was of legal age yet to wrestle. Uh, you know, but allowed to in training, I, I believe. I don't quote me on that, but I don't want to get anybody in trouble just in case. Um, but but and she wasn't done with trainings to even book a match at that point, and she was going to get an inquiry. So, but she's, well, she's. I think she's like she was a cheerleader in high school or something, and just yeah. in, was that the gift that Lee sent out? Yeah, that was the one that where where okay, like okay okay like, I thought so I'm like where, that sounds weird. where she kind of like he, where he pops her up and she kind of yeah. does a spin move and comes down into it into a thing yeah yeah that yeah. was her okay that was okay her. I wanted to make sure if you don't mind me chiming in real quick her work ethic is amazing like I've never like this girl um, shows up for different shows she's she's been at two PW even like you know taking helping with the ring and the doing uh, doing stuff for them too uh, you know taking down the ring at Rise. Uh, when I met her, she, you know, she wasn't uh, working just yet, but she was still, you know, doing and the, her work ethic, just her training, just mm -hmm. everything she does about her is just awesome. And it, it, it sucks that I had to miss, you know, that, that, that awesome event. Cause I really wanted to be there for rise. Uh, I do backstage reporting for them. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, I was uh, 
diagnosed with COVID nineteen. Oh yeah. Oh, you you were part of that group. Uh, yeah, I got her. No, got... not that group. Oh, it wasn't from that group. It, I was not that group. Believe it or not, I found oh, out wow. it's either a a client that I see because I do therapy as my shoot job uh, as a mental health therapist. I either got it there or I ended up, uh, believe it or not, the Chinese restaurant out here, the local no. Chinese restaurant. They, they they they're closed down because they had COVID, and I remember eating Chinese that Monday. Ah, that's oh, it. No. That sucks. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't that group that you're thinking of. No. All right. All right. But I will say this: like I said, Nikita, Nikita Knight is one to watch out for. I know she's she's skyrocketing already in this business, and she just started. I think we're gonna we're gonna see some great things from her. Mm, you see a little bit there if you're catching us on the video feed. Uh, this is actually from a clip from the match that's actually going to be going out uh, later this week on the on the YouTube page for India Wrestling US. But that's part of the Rise Wrestling October show uh, that is available over there on a YouTube membership on the on the Indie Wrestling Network and such too uh, with Rayla and some some good yeah no she looks absolutely solid I can't believe that she's like that's a you know what her second match I think it is officially that's crazy so in front of the crowd like she's great right yeah so, she's bred for it man yeah and she's and she do, she's doing like a warrior like a a, a warrior goddess kind of thing right. Like, part of it definitely looks Amazon. Part of yeah, like an Amazon warrior kind of situation there. So, um, no, that's great. It's good that she's been around and and, uh, and everything. So, um, but uh, yeah, but we're talking about it. So yeah, Raylan beats her, uh, or Raylan get, got gets beat, and uh, and uh, Brad. So you know, I I walked into this venue, um um, and it's my first time working in this venue. I, it, it, they've been a few times and just scheduling. I, I just never was really able to get there and really be a part of it. So, so actually Chachi's been heading in and, and he's been recovering from COVID. So I, I took over this show. Right. Um, so, <laughs> so I walk in and I was like, okay, I need a chair. And I pull a chair over. Wow. This got wheels. And I'm like, I'm what, are they going to use the wheel, the chairs with wheels on They're like office chairs. Right. Like, are they going to use the one with wheels with the crowd? Like, and, and I'm thinking like, nobody's used these before. That I'm aware of because I've, I've watched the shows, you know, that, that that we've been doing and putting out, and um, and 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 I was like, how has nobody done anything with these, right? And then lo and behold, of course, it takes Ray Lynn and Bradley uh, to have uh, uh, something of a confrontation over here, and uh, and uh, so she's she's flipping out and messing with Bradley and wheels him into the wall. <laughs> so, and there's a little bit of that there for you guys on video. Of course, I shared this. This was the first thing I shared out of Twitter because I'm like, this is happening. I, I've said this before, and <laughs> I will say Bye. it. I will say it every time I see a clip of Bradley on this show. How did he become our Todd Chrisley? <laughs> he got, he got him I don't. I don't know oh, how it happened. Man. Oh man! But. It, it and she chucked him into that wall. She wow. did, yeah. Just, it just is. I'm like, just, I, I'm just glad to see that 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 Bradley's taking some bumps for the business. Um, I, <laughs> honestly, Bradley could honestly, honestly, Bradley could have sold it a little bit more. Oh, I'm you just, I'm gonna say it. You know what? So I Bradley actually, was I, 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 it. <laughs> I cut, I cut it off. I cut it off. But after after this happens and he's settling himself back in, there's a "You deserved it" chant from the crowd. <laughs> but I didn't have. Yeah, to... <laughs> he definitely deserved it. As 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 yeah. I mean, he did. Seemed appropriate. He, Seemed appropriate. He's Bradley. Uh, but that was right. I didn't mean to talk indie wrestling here in the first segment, but uh, but uh, I don't know Sorg. why I'm I don't know why I'm apologizing for that. But uh, <laughs> so but it's worthwhile. Sorg, um, so this is breaking news. Hmm. They just aired a vignette for uh, Halloween Havoc. Mm -hmm. The voice of Elias was on the vignette. The voice of Elias? Is Elias going to NXT? I believe so. Well, NXT, you just brought me back, if that's true. Because it, it, was, it was just a clip of someone using a shovel and said, I buried something so I can rise again. So Holy I wonder shit. what they're going to do with him because, of course, they got rid of the, the guitar gimmick. The I wonder what what route are we going to see the heavy metal Jesus back? It's very possible. Oh, I can see it. Nobody see seen it. nobody oh, except good. Pittsburgh seen heavy metal Jesus. That's why I'm excited. By mm -hmm. the way, heavy metal Jesus available on indie wrestling network. I mean, oh. e even if he just brings back the guitar gimmick, like the the original Drifter. Yeah, in NXT, he's got so many people to work with. Oh yeah, I think it'd be great. I like I I I don't know that he really needed the reinvention. I thought he was doing fantastic. Well, uh, he needed to be away from Jackson. Riker uh, yeah, I know he needed to be, and all that that entails. Yeah, he needed to be separated from a problematic individual that that just really kind of brought him down. 
Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, but it, it shows up tomorrow. Over under fifty percent of AEW shows up. Oh, it, it, sorry. I, I, yeah, no, it's, we'll get to that in a moment, there, uh, Alex. But um, yeah. So, so what else is happening on NXT? Like, I, I'm hearing the new class is supposed to be really good, and, and it's really picked up over the last couple dude. Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker. Yeah. I'm. I'm in. I'm. Is that the in. Steiner guy? Like the yes. Steiner kid? Yes. Okay. Kid, yeah. He he looks like he looks like Rick and wrestles like Scott. Oh man. Okay. You, yeah. you, you got my attention. He's okay. phenomenal in the ring. Okay. So far. Yeah. I mean, okay. I've seen nothing but good things with this guy. He's good. gonna be he's gonna be his new star. I just hope that they don't do what they like to do, take somebody and shove them down people's throats. Then they cause uh, you know what happened with Roman. Thank God Roman's doing the best work he's done in in my opinion. He's doing mm -hmm. you know, ever in this business. But what I'm trying to say is with Braun Breaker, you can, I, I just hope they just don't go full throttle because when Vince does that, look what happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, it, so, uh, yeah, it, the, I mean, obviously, this is kind of the rebuilding. Uh, you know, NXT is kind of con full into developmental, redevelopmental. It, it, so here's my here's my concern, and, and, and not having watched the last couple of weeks since the the, the reboot episode. Um, because it feels like it's going full on developmental, right? I, I'm concerned that's going. I I don't know if that's going to work on USA Network, or maybe just the expectations have been lowered. I don't know. You know, maybe maybe they're like anything's well, better than what's I happening. Mean, it's full on developmental, mm -hmm. but they do have veteran talent at the head. Because mm -hmm. Johnny's still there, right? Right. Tommaso's still there. Santos is still there. EO is still there. Like, that's a good base. And if and if Joe is able to work again, and if Elias is coming, I mean, there you go. Mm -hmm. That that's all you need to lead some developmental talent into into a new new generation. And, and yeah, you and know, besides, so NXT should have always been developmental talent. It did kind of like, it grew into its own brand and said, "Okay, these are our like they created their own stars that were NXT stars." Yeah, because think about it. we saw like the growth of Bailey, Sasha, Charlotte, mm -hmm. and um, Becky. Becky. <laughs> Don't know why I couldn't think of Becky, but we saw all of them grow before our very eyes on NXT. Yeah. Same with like Alexa and Oscar. Like, like I mean, Grant Oscar, you know, was an indie indie wrestler beforehand but like we, we've seen all of them evolve like nikki cross like grant she did a lot of stuff in the indies but if you look at nikki cross's first appearance in sandy and then look at nikki ash now mm -hmm. like people may not like the gimmick but you can tell there has been growth and an evolution like as a wrestler, as a performer, absolutely, yeah, and absolutely. Unde undeniable, undeniable, yeah. absolutely, yeah, no, and then that was always the cool thing because they brought in that thing of, in you know, I often have that conversation with AEW is they bring bringing in all the things that we love about the indies just on a bigger stage, uh, and 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 I feel like you brought in that element of, you know, what do you like about the indies? You're watching somebody like hey, I remember when Elias was this guy. Actually, I just watched the clip randomly the other day of of a young not even wrestled yet elias that got pulled in the ring and slapped the crap out of john mcchesney when nobody knew who this guy was you know he wasn't even a wrestler yet he was just the dude that was like helping with security in the ring building right so you could say he was a drifter he was yeah he just kind of drifted in he wasn't a front man yet he wasn't a heavy metal jesus he wasn't a drifter he wasn't walking with anybody yet uh you know i was there for that <laughs> of course you were <laughs> yeah, it was Super Indy Seven. So yeah, I, I was there. I was doing a test. I was doing a test uh, for <laughs> Elias for, getting beat up, Ronnie. In the no, back. I, I was doing a test at Rise uh, for for like the the like uh, some stream. I'm, I'm testing a streamer uh, while we were there. We didn't stream the show, but we did a private stream just to make sure the tech would work in the building. Um, and and I was like, okay, so this, something something dropped out. I, I need to make sure something's running and not just a ring where nobody was walking around. So I was like, okay, what's on this laptop? And this is a random laptop I just used to switch the show. 
uh, there was for some reason a copy of Super Indy 7 on it. <laughs> so I pulled it up and then I was like, they're like, they're like, uh, they're like somebody walked by. I was like, yeah, I just threw this on for a thing. And we're like, oh yeah, we're watching it in the back. And I was like, yeah, I turned to a guy and said, said, hey, you want to watch this CJ Sensation facade match? You know, um, so, and by the way, the main event for that is Davey Richards, Jerry Lynn. So, I mean, who, wow. who'd they ever beat? Who'd they ever beat? Well, I think <laughs> Jerry Lynn beat Davey Richards that night. So, spoiler alert. Haven't seen a, you well, know, of course, thir- Kiki lost. thirteen year old wrestling show. So, but. well, Jerry Lynn was still, or he wasn't the Super Day champion going in. I think no, was he? I thought he won. He it, was. I thought he won it from it. Uh, honestly, I, I thought he won it at the show. If I because he was two and one of them. But yeah, anyways. Um. So, where were we going with that? We were talking about wrestling. NXT. NXT. Okay, so you're yeah. telling me NXT is worth a shot. I should give it a shot. Um, I mean, mm-hmm. I got I can go pull it up on the last couple of episodes on Peacock and throw it up in the background. So I'm cool with that. I gotta finish GCW from Sunday too. So um I don't know how where, how far in on the show are we? Okay, let's do a break and we'll talk about the AEW Friday skirmish a little bit more. Ooh, we talked ooh, about ooh. it a bit on the show last night. It got a little heated. But there's new information about what's going to go on Friday. Wow, we are at Mad Mike's. You know, reception. you know what this is. What is this? They're counter programming my wedding. They are county programming your wedding. That's what they're doing. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. To be fair, to be fair, uh, a year or two years ago, when you scheduled a Friday wedding, that was supposed to be a year ago. Mm-hmm. There were no wrestling shows on Friday night. Yeah, see. Like, I don't I think mean, SmackDown you know. was debut. I mean, SmackDown might have just been debuting, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and now all the wrestling is on Friday night. Yeah. See what you did? You know, hey. I'm sure, you're, I'm sure your uh, reception is going to be a nice draw. We'll make sure. Oh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a big draw. <laughs> Big Listen, draw. we'll make sure there's. I, a... I will say concessions would be a hell of a lot better. That means you got to come out beforehand like Tony Khan and thank everybody, too. Oh. And make sure you stomp your foot Please. as you're talking to in excitement. Please. Like, <laughs> this is the best wedding reception I... I have ever been to. Thanks for coming, everybody. Listen. Happy anniversary. Listen, listen. Tony Khan is all of us. Because if any of us, except for you, Doc, and you, Ronnie, you guys are professionals in the business. If any of us got in the ring and had a live mic and were super excited to be there, we would be doing that same I don't know what to do with my hands thing that Tony does. Right, because he's a wrestling geek, and he's like, but, I can't believe but, I'm here. Maybe the first time. The fr- <laughs> <laughs> maybe the first Every time. time for two years. May- maybe the second time. <laughs> but he should kind of know now. I think. I think he. I think Tony is the biggest self-made Make-A-Wish kid. No, that would be Zack Ryder. Jeez. That's Zack Ryder. Yeah. That's Zack Ryder. Yeah. And Zach I say Ryder this out of love, okay? I, I love no, no, sorry, Tony's sorry. enthusiasm. He's actually a Make-A-Wish kid. What's that? I, I have never seen somebody make their own title belts more than Zack Ryder. Mm-hmm. There's that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to see the internet championship in person because Effie had it at Enjoy. Oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he brought, I'm like, that's the damn internet championship. That's great. Um, and, and there's like name tags over the Zack Ryder stuff that just says Effie on it. It was, it was great. Of course. Like, yeah, That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, but anyways, uh, hey, do you like wrestling? Sure, we all do. And some of the stuff like we just <laughs> talked about uh, over at Indie Wrestling. Oh, did I just close that? Oh, no. There should be a graphic here, and it just went away. But we'll bring that up in a minute. Uh, at IndieWrestling.us, you can check out that Rise show that we just talked about. You can check out the early career of one Elias, uh, formerly known as uh, Logan Shulo, of course. No! Shulo! That's what we used to do because we were really excited about Logan Shulo, and then he got signed. And then we're like, no more Shulo! Um, so, and uh, sorry, I'm looking for a thing. Um and also we got the network and also brand new. I, I want to start talking about this because some of you guys started subscribing to it. I was quietly building uh, something of a new project 
uh, that I didn't know if we were going to unveil or not, and I was wondering if anybody would have stumbled on it. So we started. We do have the networking. It's got the most content, of course, five ninety a month, seven day trial, uh, and it's got all of our back catalog. Um, you know that we've been doing for the last several years on that network that we built over time. I think we have something like four hundred hours. We might be creeping on five hundred hours now on that on that system at IndiaWrestling.network. Our link at IndiaWrestling.us. But we also have now uh, the last. Um, I think almost the entirety of our run of ride and um, a good portion of RWA, at least the RWA 2PW shows uh, for the last, uh, since we came back in 2020, are up on YouTube. And if you look for YouTube memberships over there on the IndieWrestling.us YouTube page, uh, you can go check out those shows for $4.99 a month as part of that. Uh, you get some special kind of chat perks and everything like that. And when we figure out our emojis for Twitch, we'll bring them over to that too for you guys. Uh, so you can you can check that out, uh, $4.99 a month uh, on the YouTube page, and you get the latest. And these go up when the other ones do. Typically, like you know, right, depending on what's going on, some of these show go shows go up uh, uh, almost right away on VOD but the network in the next day uh um you know or you know whenever those go up for vod for the indie wrestling network they will also appear um simultaneously on for members at the indie wrestling.us youtube channel um and yes this is similar to if you've already been participating in the uh impact wrestling membership i did because i think as we probably illustrated on the show the impact wrestling app sucks and uh it <laughs> you and 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 I literally paid for a month. I couldn't access it, uh, so I went to their YouTube page. It's 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 cheaper. And 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 if you're familiar with YouTube, if you don't mind using YouTube, you already have a credit card in YouTube for or Google accounts for something. It's real easy to do. And uh, anywhere you have YouTube, any app on your smart TV or box or phone or whatever or Chromecast or whatever you want to do, uh, that makes all that stuff immediately accessible to you. All that content that we have up there uh, for members. Um, for all these groups so go check that out another a new way for you to consume indie wrestling support and explore and find some new favorites that could be the next ones you see on AEW dark or they become the next lee moriarty hell uh, who is featured on several of those shows by the way uh in that collection so go check that out indie wrestling.us for everything and then go to our youtube page for the membership if you want to check out what is there and thank you everybody who is supporting through that and one of those things that is uh featured is the renegade wrestling alliance and uh and and, and they ha this is their third show back since lockdowns kind of up this week and this is bloody harvest bloody harvest it's gonna be a good one featuring a costume contest i'm gonna miss the contest i'm sad i'm missing the costume contest because that's usually a pretty good time um but yes uh there, there's gonna be a costume contest there uh there's gonna be uh, a pretty, a pretty significant main event. And, and wait, 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 RWA, if you haven't checked it out, again, check, you can check out um, um, clips and and the shows over on IndieWrestling.us. But I mean, in the last several months, you've had Brian Johnson vying for the the RWA championship against J Rock. Uh, you've had um, who else? Cody, What's Cody that? Deaner. Cody Deaner from Impact Wrestling has been on there. Of course, Crazy Steve is still a tag team champion. I believe he, does he re, does he return this week? I believe so, right? I, I think so. I, I, uh, don't quote me on I'm, that because uh, there was a little bit mixed up with the uh, with the dates. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna wait, like, I'm being very, very oh, careful. Okay, on this one. I don't okay, wanna... yeah, yeah. I think he might be November now. So but uh, I know. But I knew he's coming back in right now. Is Cody Deaner? Though. Cody Deaner will be taking on Daniel Weeds. The man oh really? Tomorrow. Oh, that's fantastic. That's gonna be a hell and of a match. And Cody's a guy that we've had on the show like ten years ago, and he's fantastic. Every time I run into him at a show, he's a great conversation and 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 doing some great stuff there. And and even the, like the Violent by Design stuff has been really good with them too. Ah, uh, that's phenomenal. I mean, Eric Young is such. He's just he's good on the mic he's great in the ring you know and i'm really excited for him to be back in t i mean in impact i mean when i first started watching like tna like i was a huge fan of team canada and i was a huge fan of uh eric young i used to have believe it or not do you remember that store was it called stephen berry's or something it was up century three mall it was huge I okay get, like weird clothing they used to sell the team canada jacket and i had that for a long time <laughs> nice to... nice nice so i i so i so First of all, I mean, you know, off time, of, of course, we were doing a lot of interesting digital content over lockdown and everything. But for you, Doc, like what, you know, you know, you're back to shows. How how's that feel to be back? You know, I, I know you work with many promotions, uh, but but RWA has yeah. been your home for 10 years. Right. Yes, and, 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 and the, game, 
gave me my first opportunity. Was, yeah. Uh, and, RWA. and there was a recent conversation about like, I, I think maybe last night on or off air, we talked about like Hammerstein ballroom at JCW and talking about like, what was, what would be the Hammerstein ballroom of like Pittsburgh? And, and the more I think about it, like, I feel like at the RWA gymnasium is kind of the, or it might be the ECW arena of Pittsburgh area because it's an, it's an old crappy rundown <laughs> gym. Perfect. That has a crazy rabid audience. Literally, nobody else has an audience. I've always said, oh, nobody else has an audience like in Pittsburgh like like RWA has. And and it's like if you took the ECW arena in their fan base, um, put it in the country. <laughs> That's what you get with RWA, right? In a way, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll and say, I say that yeah. with love. I, mean, I mean, the fans are rabid, man. And I say that with love. I mean, there's some of the greatest fans in the world. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, like every promotion I've been at has their different sets of fans. And they've been awesome. But like RWA has been, like I said, my home for oh. Oh, we lost your audio there. Uh oh, uh oh, we lost his audio. We lost his audio. Is anybody else oh, with no. me? Oh, Is no. anybody else He's with well, me? Yeah. Doc, yeah, where are you I, at? I think it's it's the bandwidth. It's the bandwidth thing again. Oh no! Hello, the bandwidth. Are is they... it me? You're yeah, we're back. For? We're back. We're back. All right, I'm there so he sorry. is. There yeah. he is. No problem. Things happen. Here, I thought I was gonna have the audio issue. <laughs> it's okay. I know, and I, I'm sorry about that. It's just uh, it you guys. You guys say I love Connorsville sometimes, man. So. Yeah, yeah. You're you're, you're out there. Internet. You're on the middle of nowhere, right? So. Yeah, you get, no, I'm like right on a major highway, so sometimes you know you it's hit or miss here. So I yeah. apologize to it's everybody all right. out there. It's all right. Okay. Okay. This is the Zoom effect, right? So, uh, but anyways, but yeah, you were talking about the audience and stuff. But I was, but what's been that vibe like since you came back? It, it, like it feels, it, it feels like it was missed. <laughs> oh, it's very missed. Yeah, you could definitely tell some of the people like they've been gearing and just pretty much salivating on booing some of these guys mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. The poor jordan i you know jordan styles he gets it real bad i mm-hmm. you know they don't show him much love who else uh jdl is another one jdl yes. gets i mean he has a fan base though too and the fan that what's awesome about him is it's 50 50 split like you have some fans that are cheering well 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 and then you have other ones like shh Shut up! Shut the song off, God, please, because that's that's his whole theme music. Well, well, well. So, yeah, and no music to it. It's just that over and over again, right? Yeah, that's all. So, it is. Like Joe Gardner, well, well, well. Yeah, in a way, yeah, yeah, yeah you could say that. There's, there's, there's actually fans that bring each of them have a sign that says "Well," and they they lift it up as soon as the the theme music. It's insane. That's funny. Yeah, it, it, it's a good time, Ronnie. You should come out to one, man. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you at RWA yet. I've seen you at 2PW. I've seen you at Rise. I've not seen you at RWA yet. I'm not calling uh, you out. I just want to see Boy Goat where I started. You know what I mean? I'll uh, I'll come in November. All right. So I like to hear. I know, like I know what else is going on this Saturday. I get it. Trust me, I get it. Um, There's nothing. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, Warrior Wrestling, but that's in Chicago. That's not a worry. Um, yeah, they, yeah, no, no, no. Be, no you can catch it on pay per view afterward. That's fine. That's fine. That's yeah, where I'll be. But you know, and I'm sad I'm missing RWA for it. But you know, uh, work calls, it. work calls. Got to pay the bills. You got to pay, pay the bills. Got to pay the bills. And and you know, they were like, hey, we need somebody to film Bret Hart. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll film Bret Hart. You oh, know. how dare you film Bret Hart? Like, oh, how dare you? Oh. you know? That's okay. I know Emily's going to do a phenomenal job without you. Yeah, there. you got she's Emily. Not, you got Rob on the, the show. Like she does at Eclipse. She's going to take the reins and just rock out with it. So it's there all you good. go. There you go. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, and of course, if you do, you're not here in Pittsburgh, uh, the show, of course, will be on VD, VOD the, 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 the few days after and all the platforms we talked about. But well, let's talk. Well, let's, let's, so, so it's really interesting. Let's say there's, there's a lot of impact, a longer ring of honor. Um, which actually really makes sense. I mean, you got the Rev, uh, you know, he's got his connections over there, Ring of Honor. You got some <laughs> good. <Sure>. There's <laughs> there was a child in there. If you're wondering why there's a kiss and good night. So yeah, uh, audio. Yeah, I, I, you know what I mean. <laughs> Bodie always comes first, man. Sorry mm-hmm. about that. Good. No, 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 no problem, no problem. But but it's been really cool again. This was this was starting to happen before everything shut down. But there was a lot of big names starting to come through RWA. You know, you know, yeah. a, a, a Red Velvet even showed up for for a pre-show. Uh, a, a couple of uh, shows ago and things like that. Sergeant Slaughter showed up. Uh, I think was it right before? Was it right before or the year before where they had Teddy Long and D'Lo Brown for the show? Right. I, they, think, that, I think that was twenty nineteen. Those guys right? show up. Yeah, we've, this... had, uh, we've had we've uh, had Devon Dudley. We've had uh, the Amazing Red, mm-hmm. which he's just phenomenal in its, its own right. Um, Sanjay Dutt was our RWA Cruiserweight Champion for the longest time, and then of course he went on to do like I, I think it's what head of t- he's one of the 
trainers at NXT or something now? Or something? I think he, I think he's uh, an agent or something. Yeah, an agent. Pardon me. Is he at NXT um, still? That? Yeah, I think I think so. I, really? I've I seen him break up a couple fights. You oh, know, okay. whenever they all come okay. out, I, I've seen him. I'm like, oh, look, there's Sanjay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, but uh, like I said, with 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 the addition right now, like with O'Shea Edwards coming to mm-hmm. RWA right now, I mean, it's just it's blowing up again. We're excited. And I was kind of nervous because if you think about it, we were the last promotion to start shows mm-hmm. out of everybody. Everybody was started before In the area, us. And yeah. I was like, yeah. come on. I was like telling uh, Dr. Feel Bad, I'm like, come on, Feel Bad. Let, let's get a step in here. Let, let's move. You know, we can only do this uh, internet fantasy show for so long. Let, let's get this ball rolling, you know. So it, it took some time, but a special thanks to the artist formerly known as hentai you know getting to giving him a good swift kick we got you know we got started and now things are just going great i mean you know j-rock is on a roll right now man mm-hmm. they're, they're mm-hmm. throwing people at him left and right um cody diener i mean brian johnson they, these two took him to it to his limit mm-hmm. to the end almost i thought it i thought it, i'm not gonna lie i thought we were gonna have a new champ both times and that's just within the match but j-rock is just showing adversity he's showing that Showing that true champion style was what we need. So I'm wondering what you know what J Rock has planned against the big bad kaiju Oshie Edwards. Uh, J J Rock's really interesting because uh, I had a, I actually had a good conversation with him after that match with Brian Johnson, and he just like he's like, can you believe how long it's been with you know down the road and stuff? And and we talk we're talking about like yeah man like like first time I saw you you were teaming with Ray Rowe you know now Eric of the Vikings over on the WWE. You know, he was team with Shane Taylor and stuff, you know, and he's like, and he seriously, you know, over the last several years, he's been in the best shape of his life and he's turning in some freaking Mac classics with these guys. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, with Eads and Eads and, uh, Eads in um, uh, big time. Uh, Bill Collier last year before we went to COVID, yes. of course. Um, so you know, rolling into that. So, so yeah, it, it's, it's been really cool to see what's, what's been going on over there. Yeah, I mean, Bill Collier and Daniel Wade's had such a great run. I mean, Bill Collier is one of my most one one of the most favorite people. I love the call in a match; like mm-hmm. it's uh, unreal, and it's really cool when you're sitting in Pittsburgh, you know, watching AEW, and your your little your little kid, you know, the kid to come in on the podcast again. My apologies, and literally went, "Daddy, Daddy, look, look, there's my friend Bill." Oh, I thought that was kind of cool. It was mm-hmm. kind of cool mm-hmm. just to see his eyes light up whenever Lee Moriarty was fighting, and uh, you know, Bill Collier and. Just all these uh, local guys got out of, you know, uh, Andrew Palace, you know, it was yeah. really cool. Katie Marquette, he went nuts when Katie came out. Like he was mm-hmm. like cheering her on. And then <laughs> when it happened, of course, he turned into Bradley for a minute and was like, stupid Jade. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, we talked about it on the show. Hysterically. It, so, so, you know, you know, we had uh, 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 Mainstream Matt's son, Mason, interview Katie here on the show uh, a, a oh, couple man. months ago, right? So well, I he, think I remember that. Yeah. It's, okay. it's like I said, and he would, and they had great seats. Like when they're doing interviews in the ring, they were like right in the shots. Like that's where they were sitting. Um, oh, and and it was his first show, first AEW show. Well, both, but it was first two. He, we went went to both of those Pittsburgh shows, right? Um, and and saw Katie come out, Katie Arquette yeah. come out, and there was a a. Um, and I know you guys have heard this on the show, but this is for Doc. Uh, uh, it first timers. And she's like, "Yay, it's Katie! I know her!" And then Jade's music, <laughs> music hits, and he goes, "Oh no!" Because <laughs> he knows That's what's about hilarious. to happen. <laughs> so. I don't think I heard that before. That's oh, you hear that story? That's great. No, That's that story. Great. What's funny about that is just to piggyback off of what you just said. Me and Bodie were watching Cole Carter come out with yeah. Luther and Serpentico, right? Yeah. And he was like, Dad, Dad, it's Cole. It's Cole Carter. Because Cole, Cole and him are buddies. And when he sees Cole backstage like at Eclipse or – Cole's great. By the way, Cole's he, great. Yeah. I, I, Cole's yeah. is growing Cole, on me. <laughs> Cole's an amazing dude. And Bodie just loves him, right? So Bodie sees this. And then here comes here comes the Lucha Brothers and um, Pac. And it's just – Bodie's eyes got like this big. And he goes, oh, he's dead. <laughs> I started crying. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, I think Luther and Serpentico are the ones that are gonna get, get beat up. And then when they walked out on him and yeah, left him yeah. three, he just looked at me and goes, "I'm never gonna see him again, am I?" <laughs> I about, I lost it. <laughs> and, they, and they did. They beat the shit out of him. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. Language, but, that is and amazing. Uh, I laughed, and, and my my son was just like, 
Daddy, will you message him and see if he's okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, got oh, no. I got it. And like we sent him pictures. He's like, send the pictures that you sent. Don't send the one where he's getting kicked in the chest, though. I don't think he'll like that. I was like, all right. <laughs> so it, it, was, it was some good stuff though. Like Bodie really, Bodie really showed his colors. It showed support of the local. He even cheered yeah. Lee on, man. For that's again, great. he loves Dante Martin too. So it was kind of oh, cool. Yeah, to see Dante's that. great. Uh, and that's the cool thing. I, and, and again, what I was talking about earlier about like, hey, bringing the the vibe of the Indies. Yeah. I mean, they're literally bringing the Indies with them, right? So it, it, it's cool because you get that extra layer when you go to your local AEW show and and seeing them and seeing them week to week on you know you know darks or even popping up on the main show every once in a while. You know, but even mm-hmm. even it seems like some of these guys get fast tracked. Like the Danny Garcia thing just happened out of nowhere, and he's had matches with like every big star that comes in at this point, right? I know. Did huh? he have like a, a four like a four match span where it was like Punk, Suzuki, like <laughs> yeah. uh, Janela, and oh, I could I forget the fourth, but it was just like. That's a fucking wild spread of four. Well, and some of those were on the indies too, right? So yeah, they like, really love him, or he really pissed yeah. some people off when he. Yeah, <laughs> you said Suzuki. I was like, yeah, maybe the yeah. last one was like Archer. I forget who the last one was, but like, yeah, yeah, it, it's yeah, it, it's why well, I, I a picture of him at two hundred five live just popped up on Twitter yesterday. I noticed, so <laughs> they were like, man, did they miss out on this guy? You know, because I feel like I don't know. I feel like he's a guy that would have done pretty well if they kind of lit a fire under him at at, at uh, NXT. But I, I get why he wouldn't be a dude that they would go with. You know, yeah. um, but. I mean, yeah, though no, it, it's absolutely incredible to see those kinds of things happening, you know, and and how I I feel like I'm I don't go to a wrestling show that doesn't have somebody who <laughs> I feel like I don't go to a wrestling show show that doesn't have somebody that's been uh, signed by or been on these shows at this point, yeah. you know, and not just AEW, Ring of Honor, Impact, or something like that. It feels like it feels like you can't like you know go to a show and not trip over somebody that. Uh, that that has that's been on your television lately, um, so and I say that because I'm very clumsy at wrestling shows. Cause I'm excited because I'm stomping my feet when I yell. So, <laughs> <laughs> so but no, it's cool. But anyways, RWA. So um, so yeah, we got so we got J Rock and uh, uh, Big Bad Coo- Kai- Kai- oh, not Cujo. Kaiju. I did that last night. Yeah. <laughs> Not the big bad Cujo, although that also sounds badass. Um, yeah, Maybe he could be the big bad Cujo for Spooky Month. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, and you know and O'Shea, you do not have to take any advice from this show. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> you know the bad part is, I'm the one that's going to have to face it, not you three. Like, yeah, that's true too. Like, I'll be <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm way far away from. Anything. He's going to be so like, whatever he's going to be like, hey, you were on that show when they were calling me a Cujo, and and you're going to have to answer for it, Doc. So, yeah. I mean, thanks for taking the heat, brother. Cujo was vicious. I don't know if you guys know that or not. He has a tradition. Like, if the table's down beside the uh, um, the ring, he'll get the hit. Like, he'll fight. And he'll get down. He'll go, whew, I'm thirsty. And he'll grab my drink and just take it. Oh, 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 I didn't know you had a thing going on, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah he takes my drink all the time. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to say something to him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You absolutely. Just don't take my drink. And he'll just go. <laughs> And just we just walk, you know. Like yep. I was like, and I always, uh, I had this plan for when he came back to Eclipse at the time because that's where the tables down right, by the ring. Right. Well, he was a, literally... he, he was a frequent out there at Eclipse in Altoona, right? Yes. Yes, so, he was. Yes, yeah. he was. He did some amazing work out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, he worked Dennis Gregory. He worked this guy named uh, oh. Dewan Neal. Dewan O'Neill and him. It lo- It was like it was like a week before Godzilla vs Kong came out. I was like, I don't gotta see this movie. I'm seeing it now, live action. Um, they were amazing in that ring. Are they? they are these on YouTube? Like just giants. Are these on YouTube for Eclipse or anything? Uh, yes, they are. I'd they love are to YouTube. see those. I'd I love to see. Yeah, those. definitely, definitely check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, Eclipse Wrestling. Uh, we're they, talking about. Go look it up. Yeah, it's def- it's awesome promotion. Definitely check it out. I couldn't imagine another. Uh, couldn't imagine another uh, place that just treats you so yeah. good. It treats you like family when you walk in. And absolutely just... good vibes. I, mean, I got to visit them. Uh, I think the February before COVID. And one, you know, you know how I know how the, half the roster there. So they, you know, and 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 that's the first time I think I saw Emily working and and saw her working her butt off out there. And she's been doing a great job with us at Prospect Pro Wrestling. And and you know, it's it, it sounds like it's a really cool promotion and a really good vibe with everybody too. And I know a lot of those, a lot of those faces right. have been coming over to uh, 2PW, and I think maybe even a couple over at RWA as well. 
from exactly later, yeah. right? and, so, and rise yeah. to rise to rise like to, it's yeah. you know, they, they, yeah. you know, i mean yeah. you've seen the, the runway has been uh, yep. wreaking havoc Absolutely. all through uh the tag team divisions everywhere especially mm-hmm. like you know i and, and even in eclipse now and rise you know like they they've been doing good they actually took the two pw belts and brought them over to eclipse and, and showed them off to everybody yeah i just yeah. stopped ac norway from stealing them that was really fun <laughs> let me tell you yeah, and then Clips titles over at 2PW this past, and there's a lot of videos, and I know I know you're involved with some videos that, that, that are dropping on 2PW, and there's some really interesting situations there with the between the two companies. So, oh, yeah, uh, it's yeah, like it's, it's fun being in the middle. Let me tell you, it, it, it's 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 nice seeing it's nice seeing companies interacting. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a fun time. I mean, it's, I mean, not in your position. I mean, you're kind of between the two. So, yeah. But if you if you look at it like this for a minute, if you look at look at like what what Tony Khan's done with AEW, you know, yeah. opening what they call the Forbidden Door, you know, and now you're seeing some of the some of the promotions in Indies start to do that. I think that's great. I think mm-hmm. that's awesome, and it's good to get everybody's product promoted. Not it, just don't be one of the. I, I hate when people like say, well, my promotion's better than yours because mine has this and yours don't. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. You know what? No, no. Enjoy it all of it. Enjoy I, all of it. I, yeah, I, and CM Punk was one of the first people at a press conference to say someone asked about WWE and AEW. He said, watch all of it. Yeah. Yeah. And Go I, for it. And watch think, all of it. Enjoy this time right now. It's a great time to be a wrestling fan. And I love that it's setting that example at that high level. There was like, you know, we talked about it a little bit last night. And I know it was a different tone not to get back into that conversation about like they do mention everybody as a thing. Right, that they exist, they don't ignore it, right? And that includes, in, you know, mentioning the regionals, mentioning, you know, I think Ring of Honor's gotten mentioned on AEW here and there, right? Uh, because yeah. that's the history of these guys, and you can't ignore that. And, and, and it, it makes that holistic thing. People see that on the, you know, yeah, you know, you don't want to say top rated, but most exciting new promotion happening right now at that level that everybody has eyes on, and that trickles down to. You know, Impact Wrestling, obviously, right? And New Japan, you know, with their intermingling. And then now, you know, it it just gives that more ammunition for the locals, you know, the indies to say, hey, this is a good idea. Let's do a thing. You know, like, I I love that that's opened that door. And I feel like anybody that's so closed doored to that is just going to get left behind in this excitement. Exactly. Like, you know, you got some promoters that will pull talent from other promotions just because they disagree with what's going on that's stupid mm-hmm. that's actually mm. it's just wrong it's it's not only just wrong towards um well every pro- <laughs> the pittsburgh in the scene as a whole it's what it what, what i mean by that is it's just wrong towards that worker because that worker's yeah. trying to branch out that's the worker's brand you know marshall yeah, gambino yeah. said it the best everybody has their brand yep let them do it you know let them let them promote let them get big that's why like like i was at rwa for the longest time just by myself and i said to myself you know what i, I want to do more and that's when marshall gave me the opportunity to to be the voice of 2pw yeah you yeah. know and i was I, so excited about that i was honored that he you know put the ball in my hands and let me run with it mm-hmm. you know i he's like a father to me man like I, seriously like he, I, him and Derek both are like yeah yeah they, they got, I, I, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I was, where I'm at right now. Absolutely. You know? I, I, but there's, you know, I, you know, you've heard me say there's, you know, the promotions I work with are because of the promotions I want to work with and the people I want to work with. And they, they're, you know, two, two of the top ones for that, uh, obviously. So, um, you know, locally that, that's, that's, that's how it goes. And it, even for the ones we travel for, it's just like, if I, if I go to Chicago and having a bad time, I'm going to stop going to Chicago. Like, yeah. You know, you know, full stop, right? Um, you know, or Charleston, or or wherever else we end up with. Um, so, uh, you know, that's that's just you know how it goes. And I I don't think, you know, I how many times do you hear like wrestlers and talent and announcers talking about how shitty it is working for a place? Ronnie, you're familiar with this conversation. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I've worked with some really shitty fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love for Audie Starks to know it. I just want to talk about that. He's the goat. He's the goat of toys. He's the goat of comments. You know, oh my god! But, but seriously, you, like, like you know, <laughs> there's the there's too many wrestling promotions in the area. But also, <laughs> that also means you have no excuse to work for the shitty wrestling promotions in the area. So, uh, yep. yeah, like, like oh, there's other options. And and like I mean I mean my God, two promotions are debuting like just at this weekend with Enjoy and now with Wrestle Pit next month, you know, uh, you know Wrestle who knows Wrestle Rex may come back as something else even though the Rex doesn't exist anymore. I, I can't imagine Sam Adonis not coming back with something at this point, you know, yeah. between him and his dad in the area. 
Uh, and then, you know, everybody we work for and a couple other promotions out there, you know, it, it, it's just, you know, uh, within an hour of, of the city, like, it, it's, it's like, you know, it, you know, I'm telling everybody that has Again, a conversation some people on here have heard um, mm -hmm. off air, but it was like, it's one of those like, hey, do you hate your job right now? Guess what? Everybody's hiring. And it's like, hi, do you hate where you're wrestling right now as a talent? Guess what? There's some options out there. And, yeah. and it, it's really interesting to see like how that kind of shakes out uh, for things and, and people going to other places and where they were kind of stuck in one place or leaving Pittsburgh and, and getting, you know, amazing places. Right. It's, it's fantastic to see this thing happening so leaving I places i just left the business <laughs> for the we moment back, though. for the moment i would i i'd pop if you came out on commentary i was like oh my I, god i would buddy. gladly come and do commentary with you in rwa all right well I'd let, me, let me pull some strings if, if tony could uh nowhere to be found geez. guess what I, you might if have you, a seat if you, you put church. if you put i apologize now about church but you, that's okay if you get yes, church and ronnie on a three-man booth i may have to burn the sd card with the content that comes out there so <laughs> Listen, I, I, like, I've made some loop comments, but I know that, you know, with... uh oh, uh oh, his audio. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh, no, he censored himself. Zoom, the internet censored him. I think what Doc was saying was <laughs> Ronnie Starks is a goddamn fucking professional. <laughs> And, and he won't swear too goddamn fucking much. Oh, and and the WWE greatest show. goddamn retired wrestler ever. That's right. That <laughs> is right. Ass, oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh jeez, are you back so with much us, sir? Cursing. Are you, is he still is he still swearing up a storm over there? Is that what's happening? So yep. <laughs> he's paused. Like he's he's. Uh... I'm here. I'm good. Okay. okay. All right. Well, well on that, that was, note, that was vulgar. That for the even for this show. I didn't was... even cuss. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh it was, no, it was, no, it was, no, it was, no! You were. were I was you reading your lips, man. Yeah, yeah, were, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, no. I just said. I said this. I said with church on one side and. Ronnie Starks and another. I got nothing to worry about. I'll just let you guys handle the the, the bad stuff. Sit I'll back. Be right. I'll, get, I'll get away with murder. Sit back and watch yeah. the watch the wrestling business burn down. <laughs> uh, so that's RWA. You can watch the fire at RWA's Bloody Harvest this Saturday if you're in town. Go down Please there, come out, it man. Out. It's going to be a is. great show, guys. There it is. It's and, of course, awesome. I know I know we got people even on the West Coast in the chat room here. And, uh, of course, uh, that will be available. Or even just catch up on the other shows, like we said, over on the uh, streaming and VODs, YouTubes, uh, however you like to check that out. It, it, dude, it's – it's I, I, I have struggled – I say this many times on the show. I have struggled to capture the vibe of RWA – in that crowd on video. Oh, and there's Bodie. Hey, what's up, Bodie? Welcome to the hey, welcome to hey, your wait, podcast wait, debut. Say hi. Hey, that's, say hello that's, to that's the internet. Starts. Remember, I told you about the guy that finds all the toys before Daddy. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> that's him. <laughs> and that's Mike. I'm the he's, toy he's guy. Getting he's getting married Friday. Say congratulations. 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 Thank Mike. you. And like I said, hey, real quick, I just I just want you to look at the camera. Do you remember whenever Cole come out? Oh. Oh no. Uh oh, oh no! Uh oh, he broke the internet again. Oh no! I couldn't handle the cute child. I believe the kid was saying yes, Daddy. I do remember. Yes, and he also cursed <laughs> <laughs> a lot right now. What's that? Yeah, oh, sorry. No, we lost you for a minute there, we, just we as you were asking him the Guys, question. Guys, I am so sorry about this. It's all right. It's, all right. Hey, it's hardwired. Hey, or Doc. Next time. Doc, we're going to let you go so you can go watch Chucky premiering. Okay, so oh, you're, 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 see, you just you're sick it's of ten o'clock on the dot. Out. We're gonna let you go, but thank you so much, RWA Bloody Harvest. Doc's gonna be there. Thank you so much for filling in for the MIA Tony uh, Kincaid and Tony. Yeah, I prayers, hope. prayers sent. Yes, to Tony. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ronnie, I'll call you next month. Yeah, brother. So <laughs> <All right. laughs> I think you two are gonna start a podcast me. now. In the meantime, you go check out. Hey, we there's gonna be a pizza adventure. Tina, I want you to listen especially to this. Because there's options, okay? I don't know how this is going to translate, but uh, I heard pizza. I'm staying. Oh no, hold on, hold on. You got you got to this. <laughs> you know what I'm doing tomorrow, guys? I'm gonna order. What? I'm gonna order me some uh, slice on Broadway. Oh baby! And you Excellent. know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna deliver it to Mad Mike in upstate New York. That's Are you really awesome. gonna take him? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You requested it. Uh, Mike, this is your wedding gift. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure at this point. Now, Slice on Broadway. Is that what you gave me and Tony when we came and um, 
and and you did some voiceover work for you at the likely, office? Likely, very day? likely, unless it was a Sunday night because they close early. Uh, and we'll, oh, we won't tell you who we order instead. Delicious. I only order other pizza when when they're closed or I'm or I'm or I'm craving jets. Uh, which is a weird, uh, not good, healthy craving at all. Uh, but the, but but I didn't know Jets was a chain. So now I'm mad because I should have ordered some Slice on Broadway. But Slice on Broadway supporting us, Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, New York City style, yins are made. And 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 the and the reason this is a big deal because like you really want to order a fresh pizza, put it in a car, and then we got to smell the damn thing for like six hours driving up there. So. Um, that's why you Sorg. buy two. Sorg, um, you know, I have, I've, I, have a, I have a thought. Why don't you put it in the trunk? Uh, there is no trunk in the Fair in enough. the car we're riding. It is a, it's a hashback I, I, situation. I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, there are pay, I don't know on eBay maybe or even at pizza places you can buy. Remember the old delivery things they used to carry the pizzas in. Oh, the sleeves. Maybe like yes. a, can I? You know, when I order my pizza, I'd be like, can I rent? one of your delivery carriers i bet you do you have an extra one the love that you have for slice on broadway and the love that they have for you i bet you they would lend you one out i bet you they have a bunch back here and i bet you they give you one if not i would go to the email rico i don't know i I should have thought about this a week ago or when i went in earlier today uh for tonight's uh pie uh but um yeah just bring it up tomorrow give him a call be like hey you know like hey this is this is michael sorg you you guys (laughs) sponsor my show you I need one of them problem. boxes to put my box in for, you know, to take the whole way up to New York City. You Mike. might want to work on the freezing. Freezing. Mm-hmm. Everything I do is wait, on wait, purpose, wait. Mike. This you is, should know. Wait, wait, this is the moment of truth. This is the moment of truth. Mike, what's your order? Uh-oh. Um, <clears throat> extra extra cheese and extra pepperoni, Sorg. I need, write, I need to write that down. Actually, can you tweet that to, or text that's me that? It. Text me that <laughs> so I remember that. I will. So, I will. There you go. Extra, extra pepperoni, extra cheese. There yes. you go. There you go. You want a large? You want an extra large? You want a small, I'm, medium? So you're you're the one that's transferred. If I get a medium, so if I get a medium, I can. I I have I have a case. I think I can fit a medium in. Okay. So and no, this is just for you, right? New York. Are you, sh- oh, are you sharing with us with the bride, uh, by chance? Um, I need to see what our schedule is for tomorrow. Because, okay. You know, we have okay. things to do. No, rehearsal is the rehearsal dinner. To, no, the rehearsal dinner would be what? Thursday? Oh no, we're not doing one. No, this, no, this is just a reception, no. right? So yeah, it's just yeah, a reception. Yeah, the wedding was gotcha. a year ago. Yeah, when, when oh, it's, okay, when it's gotcha. supposed to be. So, uh, so yeah, you know, um, no, fantastic. So we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to deliver some slice on Broadway tomorrow. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be their first uh, uh, pizza, pizza preferred road trip. No, yes, so. So I just need a reason to road trip <laughs> to drive to Seattle. To road trip to Seattle <laughs> with me. Can I take pizza on a plane? Is that weird? I don't um, think you can. Well, the uh, can I take I a pizza? I can't take food, right? No, uh, it, unless you unless you bought the pizza at the airport. Well, there's no slice on Broadway at the really airport. Right. Slice on Broadway, please have an airport location. So we can smuggle you to other states. I hate to tell you this. There might be a way to do it because I know somebody who took, who lives in L.A. Mm-hmm. They literally bought, they love Yingling. I mean, you can't get Yingling in Los Angeles. Oh. I know this for a fact. Um, they took the bottles of Yingling, wrapped them up in like the socks and clothes, like, you know, just literally wrapped them around, put them in their suitcase, and they, they were able to transport Yingling from Pennsylvania, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania all right. Airport, all the way to LAX. I, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. So but aluminum that's, foil. That's a saran wrap big, first. Um, it's a big sauce. Yingling up. doesn't smell. Yeah, they're gonna be like, "What is this delicious pepperoni and cheese smell?" Why coming out of your carry-on bag? Why? Yeah. Why desperate does this plane? Come from desperate measures, gentlemen. Why does this plane smell like perfect pepperoni pizza? Because it's yins are made. <laughs> The perfect Thank pepperoni you. pizza for planes. Did you Yenzer put a pizza in the cockpit? <laughs> <laughs> Yenzer put a pizza in the cockpit? Yeah, I mean, did I say cockpit? I realized I was in the wrong place, so that's where I end up. <laughs> I'm really, like, I lean over and look in the door. I'm like, Are, is the pilot eating my pizza? No, no, no. He's like, it's the perfect pepperoni pizza for pilots. And it's Yenzer made. Ooh. Ooh, Talk about like the Mile High like Club, that. Mile High Club for pizza. Uh, anyways, anyways, uh, Doc's missing his uh, his his show. Uh, so we will be uh, right back 
after this? What's up? It's the Gigabyte Grizzly Brohemoth, and this is a messed up time we live in, so I need you all to do me a favor. Wear your mask. Like this? Not like this? Or like this? Or like this? Like this? Wear your mask. It's for your safety and mine. Because if I see you without one, I'm going to pump kick a mask onto your face. Got it? The world of pro wrestling, it's bigger than ever. So how can you possibly keep up with everything that's happening? Just pro wrestling news. Don't fear falling behind. Give us just five minutes every morning and we'll catch you up on the biggest news in the world of pro wrestling. No filler, no rumors, no spoilers, no pop-ups. Just pro wrestling news. Subscribe on your favorite podcast app or tell your smart speaker to play the Just Pro Wrestling News podcast. Find out more. Go to JustProWrestlingNews.com. Savon's Legendary Podcast. Shout out to the Community Network on Roku. Grind City. And you know this, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like right place, right time, out of the See what you're saying. The former tag team partner coming to save. Tony Johnson, we saw him battle at the earlier. But this is a two-on-one mugging. We are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, Doc is heading off to go watch his Chucky and put some duct tape on his internet. Uh, <laughs> we still, see Ronnie, you're the goat. Oh, he's still in here. He's still, okay. we're still, <laughs> he's still hanging Love out. You, brother. Get out of here. Go Love watch you. Chucky. Uh, so, and uh, also with us, Ronnie Starks is with us as well. Hey, two nights in a row. Woo! And also, Mad Mike, the 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 married Mad Mike, the merry merry married Mad Mike. Yes, uh, Sorg. I, I before we move on to our next segment, which I do have a what if for us, if you want to do that. This Ooh. Week, um, 
I, I do want to send congratulations out to Bobby FJ Town. Oh, oh, he oh! Ended my, he ended my undefeated streak. No, in fantasy football. Oh no. It's okay. It's all right. I'm still in first place. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm still in first place, so it's I, all good. And Chad's in fourth. So ooh. I'm excited about that. So I have a special Patreon-related um, announcement, actually, that ooh. actually involves one Bobby FJ Town. Oh. And involves DJ Lunchbox, if you remember who that guy is. I finally, no. I finally... <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I finally figured out how to post... So we did this no holds barred commentary track like years ago, mm-hmm. and I finally got it together like over lockdown or before it's it's been sitting. And then I like I fig- I got it set up. I'm like cool, let's put this out. And then like okay. I couldn't put it anywhere because of copyrights because there's too much of the movie came through the track and I can't separate it unfortunately. Okay. But I did figure out a place to put it. And oh, you boy. Patreon provide so mm, you Patreon supporters. We'll be getting an email on Friday of this week. Oh, man. And you will have the, and I think this is for like Mayhem Show 500, 400, something yeah, like that. Yeah, you guys rented a theater. We show. rented a theater. Nobody showed up. What, two people? Well, <laughs> uh, 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 Spoon and Dutters showed up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's all you need. It's a big theater that, for that's five. That's a party. That was a big theater for five people. Um, but, anyways, so there was that. And they're new owners, and I don't think I really care for them, so that's why we haven't done it again. Um, also, okay. also, two people showed up. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> so so this has been lost the time, probably because I just tried to forget the fact that I paid for a theater that, that had nobody in it. Uh, and uh, and and now on Patreon, uh, you will be able to see hear and see this and sync it up with your copy of No Holds Bar, because I know we all own it. Actually, it's probably streaming somewhere, like, like Prime Video or something. Uh, and, and you're going to get the commentary track for, uh, no holds barred. And, and I started thinking about it a little, I, I started using my headpiece a little bit, Mike, and we need to talk about this a little bit, but you keep saying you want to do these watch longs. I and, do. And the problem with watch longs is it's hard to kind of do the thing. And maybe there's some bleed over and you got mm-hmm. caught up in the copyright, you know, ID kind of situation. Right. And I realize I, thanks to Patreon and some other things, um, we can do that. I mean, it's kind of a, a copyright gray area that I think we are, we are legally allowed to do in a fair use kind of situation. And, uh, and, uh, and, and I think if we are to do, let's say, a watch along uh, uh, Escape the Undertaker special or something like that, uh, we can do this and we can provide it to you on Patreon. Yes. And uh, we can't do YouTube for, for reasons. That's fine. But I think, I think Patreon, we can certainly do this. And, uh, and and that's gonna be really be, fun. And, that's, and I would love to hear uh, your responses on Patreon, you know, and, and see if we get, you know, you guys, you guys watching it, listening to it, however you'd like to. Um, and, uh, and and content like that, I think, is going to be what, what we do on Patreon now. So, so if, mm-hmm. if people like this, we should do a monthly poll on Patreon. Of movies? Oh. Movies, pay-per-views, whatever. Okay, okay. Ep- epi- episodes of, like, the babysitters club i don't know because we, we we did it. we did some of these <laughs> we can on, do anything we did some of these on youtube um for for wrestling shows and matches and, <laughs> and the problem is with the way we label them they come up surge people come up with them and get mad it's not the match hey but you know what and then we just get a bunch of angry that, comments that that video of us doing a watch along for the rocks debut is still one of our most highest rate it is because everybody thinks they're about to tune into the rocks debut yeah and it's no. just a couple of I yahoos mean, technically they are it's just a couple it's about. just a couple of yahoos talking about watching the rocks debut so <laughs> so i mean you know you know that's on their fault if they can't if they don't understand what a watch party is you yeah, know? i just want you to get into it you know you don't read if you don't read the label and not a thing Maybe on the phone and it gets cut off. You know, you know uh, it, it's it says natural selection. debut it's natural of selection. of the Rock Dwayne Johnson dot 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 dot. And that's where it says watch along. So no, no, no. It says WMS watch along. Okay, okay, I, I, okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm, sure. not, I, I, I'm not sure. I what else? I put a picture from the match in it, so that doesn't help either. So well, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> it's all about the clicks, man. It's all about the clicks. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh boy, we are definitely not making that YouTube bank, but um, but anyways, it's uh, your own thing. Sounds like fun though. Uh, uh, yeah, and I think we'll have a little more flexibility, so we don't have to worry about like, oh, maybe YouTube's not gonna like this and strike our account. Oh no, you mm-hmm. know. So, anyways, what was I preaching earlier? 
Definitely I want us to watch Ready to Rumble. Like I, I'm loving. Um, you know yes, what? Yes, I want to do Ready to Rumble. Mm -hmm. I am loving. I am loving these comments in the chat room that I'm just reading out of context because I don't think I caught them like when it was happening. Definitely not self-made, but daddy made. I'm not sure. Are we talking about the pizza at that point? Uh, no, uh, no, that was that was directed at Tony Khan. Oh, uh, okay, okay. He's not self-made. <laughs> oh, okay. it was your daddy, daddy made. Oh, yeah, I got but you. Although technically, all of us are daddy made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Technically, mm -hmm. they had know. mommy made. Um, but yeah, Sorg, the, the, it, it says WMS watch party, the debut of the rock. Hmm. So, I mean, you know, that's on them. If they can't read, that's their problem. Yeah, exactly. It, well, listen, there's a reason don't read the comments. Cause I'm just like, sometimes I read the comments and some of the stuff that we post across some of these channels and be like, Oh, what is this audience? And am I, am I really serving the greater good here? <laughs> so... Oh no, now I'm looking, now I'm looking at the comments now. Oh no! Oh, I need to look. Oh no! Who would watch us? You did. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't the comment. Uh, no, no, no! I'm more worried about the comments that I get. On, on. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about who would watch this. Yeah. You did. <laughs> Dumbass! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Engagement. <laughs> That's what we call engagement. You know what, Mike? Can you do me a favor? Can you go to yeah. YouTube and just uh -huh. start responding to every comment? Okay. On Facebook, this is happening. On YouTube, on YouTube. No, I'm on sorry. YouTube. On YouTube. Oh, we're are we live on YouTube right now? Well, yeah, we're always live on YouTube. Hold on, I'm going. No, there's no current. Hey, and, and there's, there's so I mean, there's no I'm current not sure comments. Why this video has so many dislikes and mean comments. The video isn't horrible. Thank you. There you go. Uh, that's, no, that's and, all well, we strive I mean, we for do have people watching. Matthew's over there on on YouTube on the indie wrestling account watching us. So thank you, Matthew. I hope you're still hanging in there with us. Um, I think I've seen your name. Oh shit! There's a bunch of new people. Holy crap! No holds barred. Oh, oh no! We got some comments. We actually do got some YouTube comments going on right now. I got a new chat program, so we oh. actually see all the comments. Uh, let's see. Uh, unleash, unleash Bailey. Oh no, I'm not reading that one. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, we're definitely on YouTube. Uh, let's see. No holds barred is pretty lame. The the Z sign Hulk does his hair is horrible. Uh, imagine if they tried to do that instead of their, the ear thing, uh, Suburban Commando is way better. I agree, sir. Maybe the best movie that, uh, Hulk Hogan I, did. I saw Suburban Commando once or twice when it came out. I have not seen it since it was in, since it was on VHS. I would be curious to watch it again. Mike, Mike, Garza's in the YouTube chat. Of course he is. <laughs> fucking Garza. He's like he saw us. <laughs> so I got I got two YouTube chats up here. This is great. Fucking starts... Garza. <laughs> come to the come to the Facebook chat like a man, Garza. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, but, hey, some people don't. Like you know, I can't respond to you there. You're you might as well be hiding in a void. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just we just revealed the void here. So I love I love when I start responding and then I see a, I say uh, he saw us. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um anyways right. uh so so sorg yes like WWE, what if oh uh, well i was going to talk about the skirmish a little bit more but oh, you, you want to do okay. a what if first or yeah we'll do a what if first okay let's do a what if and then we're going to talk about the friday night skirmish a little bit and then we're going to get out of here because i apparently i need to take a, a business call that's been trying to call me during the podcast so oh boy. Okay. people keep trying right. to book me towards the, during the podcast then i don't realize what state they're trying to book me in and then i talk to them a week later when their show poster comes out and i realize it's down the road and we can actually do something about it so <laughs> I, like this is literally something that happened in the last week so um anyways uh gotcha. so don't try so anyway to, don't try to book me on tuesdays guys <laughs> so so all right. the point so, is um so i saw um somewhere I, I forget where i saw it was a couple weeks ago it was uh what if sting was the third member of the end of rio when i saw that yeah because Th because Sting was the other option mm -hmm. and i saw that i'm like okay i don't think that would change all that much Instead of Hogan. So, yeah, yeah, instead of Hogan. So I figure let's have some fun with it. What if the third member of the NWO was Shawn Michaels? Ooh. 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 Think that about would, it. Think that about would it. would change Bash, everything. Bash 96. Shawn Michaels jumps. 
And this is no bearing on the idea of like he was probably completely right in the middle of a contract or something like that, right? No, like a, no, I mean, like, it, like we're, we're we're throwing that out. We're just saying, what if this happened? What if whatever yeah. happened to make this happen and it happened, Absolutely. right? Maybe he had a falling out and broke his contract, walked away. Who knows, right? Yeah. So it, it, it was Shawn Michaels in '96. He was literally capable of doing anything. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I think that I don't. I don't think it would have had the same impact as Hogan. Whoa! Mm. Well, I disagree on that. Sean was a big star in '96. Because I think that the, the biggest part of the of the Hogan thing was the fact that it was Hogan, and it was his first real post Hulkamania heel turn, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like that was the shock, right? Mm-hmm. Versus, hey, here's another WWE guy, right? But so, but I'm not saying I'm not saying that it wouldn't have a large effect, but I'm just okay. saying. I don't think it would have been quite as earth shattering, but damn significant. Yeah, because because if it's Sean, here's a list of things you don't get. Degeneration X. No way. Yeah. No, you don't get it. I, that's what I'm you, saying. No way you, you physic- get it. Yeah, I know. I'm with you. I, I'm saying no yeah, way in you, agreement. You physically <laughs> don't. There's no yeah. way you get it. Yeah. You, you don't you, get the Montreal you, screwdriver. You don't do. You don't do. De- Which means Brett. As, probably doesn't leave. Yeah, yeah. You may not get Mr. McMahon. Mm-hmm. Because Mr. McMahon was kind of born out of Brett being frustrated. Yep. Like, oh, he's pulling, I, he's pulling I thread. I think if, she, like, I think there's a potential because you also don't get Tyson and Austin. You You, you just don't get it. But I, I think there's a potential that if it's Sean instead, there may not be a WWE. It, I, it, it, okay. it's, it's a large, it's a large what if. Mm-hmm. But considering the things that turn WWE around, mm-hmm. like the only thing you still have there is Stone Cold Steve Austin. But <laughs> do, does he get built the same way without? So, Sean at the well, top of the card and letting him like I'm with you. Let me sidetrack for one moment because I was just pulling mm-hmm. up a thing for the YouTube comments. Uh and I just noticed that tonight's AW Dark is a mere twenty two matches and four or twenty two minutes and four matches. Oh, <laughs> I just okay. so I got a short night of, of stuff to watch, apparently. Um so Garza is chiming in. Garza is that Garza? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Garza. Uh let's see. And then somebody else has another another discussion point that we may or may i uh jack i like your question and i may we may hold that for next week to be quite honest um but i, I like your question He's, he has kind of a movie what if uh oh okay with i like movie what if. um so uh if you venture over to the the youtube uh mike like an adult according to cars that you can uh, check out what that is uh no no i'll be surprised <laughs> because i i i like to be all right we'll, we'll, we'll hold on to that but uh no i wanted to pull up here garza and since apparently i'm losing my ice no actually i think i lowered that resolution so no i am you know what maybe i am i am old you know a bunch of gray hairs doing this podcast um garza says of the wrestling revolution.com.net um <laughs> And and uh, contributor to just pro wrestling news in the future fifty, I think I got all the plugs in there. Uh, I think WCW takes Sean's smile quicker, but Bischoff had enough money for him to fake that smile. <laughs> there you go. Wait, there's more. Yeah, there's that's more. true. There's, there's, there's more. I think that WCW freedom also means Sean may follow a worse lifestyle that ends tragically. Look at look at very true. Look at uh, uh, Scott Hall. Mm-hmm. You Very know, true. I mean, you know, how much did did that looseness of WCW contribute? I mean, geez, they had a drinking angle with him while yeah. he was dealing with his drinking problem. Well, I mean, to be fair, WWE did the same thing with Hawk. Yeah, and Jake and Jake and Jake Roberts. So um, I, I go to like the, the, the thing and I'll, the only options I have is report and block and I'm afraid I'm going to hit this by accident. I'm, I'm still getting used to this other chat. Uh, no, I think those are great. Uh, and, so, and Matt in the uh, Facebook chat room is saying that Triple H may not get elevated without Sean. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, and this is all post... This is all post... Uh, Austin just won King of the Ring. When this happens. Yeah. Okay. 
So yeah. Austin's on his upswing. So Austin could still happen. Well, well, or does Austin maybe. not happen because we don't have a Mr. McMahon? Whoa, okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Now you flatten that. I think The Rock still happens because he's damn undeniable. Oh, right? I, I don't know if Rock happens. Because you don't have Uber Stone Cold for him to play off of? Um, Sorg, I mean, you saw The Nation, but when Rock really got turned up was when he was in the corporation Oh, and if we don't have Mr. McMahon, you don't have if the corporation. Yeah, he, he won the title in the corporation. Wow. Yeah, if you wow. don't have a Mr. McMahon. Wow. I'm saying like that it, it's it's such a wild thing to think about. Like mm. WCW would still be alive. Not necessarily. Mm, no, no, no. I don't, I don't Not think, necessarily. I, I don't think that's gonna change. I don't think that's gonna change. Also, and also with this, okay, here's the other kind of you know, more material question. You know, we talked about the effect, and and again, and, you know, I still think that that the Hogan has more effect ripples through the industry than Sean. Not that it's saying that Sean would be a bad thing, but does WCW get to the heights that it did with Sean versus Hulk? I think it could. I think it could, especially because Sean would have had a lot of heat toward Hogan at that point. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, we we saw their match in two thousand five. Imagine, and that was when Sean was, you know, basically all right. Like he like he was good. Mm-hmm. He was sober. He was you know, with with with, with the Lord and everything. Imagine Sean versus Hogan when he's none of those things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It would have been nasty uh-huh. in, in the best ways. Wow. And I mean, just imagine some of the matches we could have gotten too. We could have gotten. Sean versus Savage, like a legit one-on-one match. Yeah. Oh, geez, that never happened, did it? Nope. We could have gotten Sean versus DDP. That never even happened. Like weird squash it, it, match. There's probably there's probably something somewhere. Like I know there's a DVD that I I actually own it. Um, uh, the match is. Oh, I want to get this right. It's Sean and Ric Flair against Bret Hart and Randy Savage. Mm. It's it's fun. It's it's real good. It's on like um a WWE unreleased DVD or something like that. But um but I don't think like there was a, there was never a high profile Sean versus Sam. No, 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 no. And not not anywhere near peak for either, right? So, I mean, to be fair, like I, you know, Macho is going to be post peak by the time Sean's peak. You know, the, although Ma- not that much wasn't amazing in the late 90s. So I mean, his stuff yeah. with DDP was fantastic, right? You, oh, okay. So uh, they even there's a the matches online on uh, Daily Motion. Oh, Randy okay. Sa- Randy Savage and Bret Hart versus Ric Flair and Shawn. Awesome. Michael. Would you mind dropping that in the group for us, please? Sure. And, and or chat, um, ideally the group. But uh, can you imagine uh, Shawn Michaels and um, uh, fuck? What the fuck? I can't remember the goddamn Dennis Rodman. <laughs> oh boy oh boy but see here's the thing all right now look at it from wcw des rodman was a huge hogan fan yeah was, does, does rodman Dennis happen rodman join I, the NWO. that's the thing that's the thing hogan brings your mainstream status right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i mean for for that kind of thing so yeah, i don't because... i don't know i mean i think they would have still gotten some people roped in but i don't think it would have been as effective as as rodman and jay leno right so and, and I know we can. But kinda... you might you might get better references. Like yeah. You might get, no, you might get more mainstream stuff because because Leno, you know, while mainstream, not exactly hip. Not hip, but it was a lot of eyeballs, right? So I like I feel like that. I mean, but, and we're, and we're, like we're we're yeah, Hogan, I, I think we're apples and oranges here. A if little Hogan bit. doesn't join the IWO, does Bischoff? Hmm. There's a lot of what ifs going on. Like, like it, it's really kind of a, a cool thing to think about. Like, because if Bischoff doesn't join the MWO and he just stays on commentary, like <laughs> that changes the entire trajectory of both. Companies. We got so much from the chat room, guys, over on the YouTube. Wow, oh, this boy. is great. So Garza says Austin still fused with Brett, though. That's where the real Stone Cold grew. Yeah, okay, so we at least get that. Okay. Uh, I think Rock, Austin, and Owen all feel. But, but Austin feud of Bret Hart 
because Shawn Michaels is otherwise occupied. Okay, okay. Uh, so, but but anyways, but he says he says he thinks that Rock, Austin, and Owen all feed on Brett. But uh, mm -hmm. and and I'll say this: Brett didn't get to the place he needed to be in the late '90s without Shawn. Okay. Okay. Because you don't you don't see Bret Hart heel without Shawn Michaels. Okay. Okay. You don't, um, you don't see that. He's the one that kind of pushed him that way. The anti-American, yeah. yeah. pro everywhere else. Yeah. Like without Shawn Michaels, you don't see that. And but I also, don't know if anyone else could have pulled that out. With with Shawn, you could have still gone the harder edge with WCW that uh, that WCW was not doing yet. They could oh, still put. We could it, have gotten it, Sean it, versus Ray in '96. It could. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh my God. You, or you Sean still, versus but Eddie. I, I, I don't think. Oh. You, I don't think you oh. don't get an Attitude Era, but I think it looks different. Because I think you still like WCW goes hits hip thing with My Michaels, and I think it still does well. Um, that that forces WWF to to Attitude and and, and forces hands. Uh, Garza goes on, without Hogan and NWO, there is a chance that a lot of guys don't jump to WCW, and with HBK being smaller, we may not see Jericho, Benoit, Eddie get as disrespected, pushing them to jump. So they could have more room to grow those guys. Alongside of, and alongside of Shawn Michaels, and they, and they become the workhorse top end of the promotion, perhaps? Could you imagine any of those three guys, Jericho, Benoit, Eddie, in late '90s peak for these guys, um, feuding with Shawn Michaels, feuding yeah. with Shawn Michaels oh. NWO, mm -hmm. absolutely. Oh God, or Shawn versus Booker T. Oh jeez, yeah. Jeez. Or, or Sh Shawn and Nash versus Harlem Heat. Mm -hmm. Oh God, that would be <laughs> that'd be really. You good. play, uh, you play, you continue that dynamic between between the Diesel Shawn thing, right? Um, and, and that, which was, you know, a moneymaker at, at WWE. So why not and, WCW? Know, with, without Hogan in there, you might not get a lot of like the Hogan buddies joining the NWO. So it might be. Oh, you, you don't unstable. have booty, man. You don't yeah. have, uh, you don't have disciple. You don't have Ted DiBiase. You yeah. Have yeah. Like, like you could get like with Sean being in there as, as the head. You might get a whole different. He starts WWE pulling the workhorses out of WWE that aren't getting dis or, getting or respected. Or even not workhorses, like you probably still get Buff Bagwell. Oh well, you know. I would no, I would assume because you get charismatic guys. So Buff Bagwell is inevitable. Work. Sometimes you got to make sacrifices. Yes, yes, yes. Even if it's Buff Bagwell, yeah. Maybe Scotty Riggs gets dealt a better hand, um, and and keeps an eye. Uh, WCW was ve uh, Jack's asking. Uh, WCW was veering towards PG content towards the very end, right? Diminishing the violence a tad. I don't know where I heard that. Yes, that's true. So that was this, this is probably a separate thing, and who knows where this goes. But actually, yeah. While while WWE was going hard on the attitude, uh, standards and practices since WCW became a big thing, uh, yeah. standards and practices with uh, TNT, Time Warmer, AOL, we go under the new management. I think was part of it, maybe too. Um, started cracking down on the content so which which gave them um a less of an edge to compete because now basically they, it was the opposite of what began right because wwe was doing wwf was doing pretty much you know geared towards kids mm -hmm. right and then nwo or wcw nwo became cool and ate their lunch so they had to go super hard edge on their thing because usa had let them and then tnt said we don't want you to go that deep you know, with that that bad with it, or or we want you to tone this down because we want the kids to watch and we won't go and give TNT a bad name. Like that's a higher up problem. I I still, I still say WCW dying and going away was not them shooting themselves in the foot. It was all about the upper management. That uh, they did they did shoot themselves. In they the shoot the, the sure storylines. Now, now here's a, here's another thing, and this is. Mike, what if, what Mike, if Sean joins the NWO? we got we got a mad, mad Mike drop by the way. You got to do then, it, but Mike, you got to do adjustment there. Uh, Sorry, you, yeah, you're you're just going what, away. Thank what you. What if uh, Sean joins, mm -hmm. and then they just get buried by Hogan? Sad. Oh, and then nothing happens, and there's just who gives an F about WCW, possible. and WWF continues their kitty bullshit, and pro wrestling, no, but, but, but pro wrestling thing. dies a slow, slow death sword, in the late nineties, sword. and we're all watching a sweaty dick punching. Sorg, here's the thing. What if that happens? 
and the NWO gets buried because it doesn't have Hogan creatively behind it. It becomes a Dungeon and, of Doom. And then instead of the Radicals going to WWE in 99, it's the NWO. Come back. <laughs> After it, their contracts expire. It's entirely possible. Yeah, I could see that. I can see that Goldberg's the only one I feel still grows independently uh, on who yeah, is. Yeah, as long as Hugh Morris is there to start that. Streak, and and he Goldberg's and he may actually fun. grow to easily overshadow Austin in WCW mm, without without all that other stuff, right? So mm, I, so I don't know, but Goldberg got massively over when he beat a heel Hulk Hogan. Hmm. Uh, uh, the Saints. Of, I I don't know. I, I, maybe he's never heard me say sweaty dick punching on the on the show. <laughs> Uh, but that is our that is our long standing term for right, MMA right. when we were attempting to cover UFC in the late two thousands on this show. Yes. So it still um, applies. It still applies. And now I film sweaty dick punching at least uh twice once or twice a month now. Uh so I mean we've really gone full circle. So there's that. There's that. Wow. Um so uh, I don't even want to talk about the skirmish right now. I mean, there's some updates on it. I, I don't want to get into it because I feel like we'll be here forever if we do it. But the updates are, we talk, and the update, if you didn't listen to last night, there's a very heated conversation on the worthwhileness of this Friday night skirmish war thing that, that uh, Mad Mike and Matt went out about it we won't get into that part please let's not no, i just want to talk about the updates so for those that don't know what's happening uh rampage is going to be live they're actually going to have a live rampage on friday and then a live dynamite on saturday yes your wednesday nights are apparently free to watch other wrestling um i wonder if it's going to be live or live to tape i think it's, uh, uh rampage to my knowledge has been live live um, no, ra no rampage has been taped the past couple of weeks. they've been taped but uh, you're yeah. talking live to tape for it's taped that night and then it shows later in the night. Yeah, that's I'm that's like live the to tape. The, the, yeah, uh, they yeah. to to my like that to my awareness everything has been live live with Rampage, wow. and I don't know of any reason or intention that they would not do that unless there were, is a weird time zone thing. But being as ten o'clock, I don't see why I can't I can't remember where they're at this week. Um, I think Miami. Is that is yeah, that right? you're in Miami? Yeah, you're in Miami. Yeah, but you wouldn't you wouldn't start a show at ten p.m. Yeah, you well, no, you you start with dark at eight o'clock. Okay, okay, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm for saying. For those that have not attended a live rampage, not rampage, you know, taped after dynamite, um, they start they start at eight o'clock, if not a little bit earlier, with dark matches with a, 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 oh, AEW oh, dark okay. matches. Oh, so they're oh, probably wow. gonna so they just do like two hours of dark taping. Well, that's probably why there's only twenty minutes of dark tonight because yeah, they do well, they do about okay, an yeah, they do about sense. an hour and a half of dark tapings. And then, um, and I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe it's Elevation and Dark's next night, but since Dynamite's after, I, I don't know. Uh, they'll, they'll do whatever YouTube tapings they're doing. Um, and it's pretty well spread out. And then there's like something like, you know, it's like a good 20 minutes before Rampage comes on for you to go get a drink and shit, right? And then, but then they'll start like, hey, so maybe Tony will come out and, or Kenny, uh, Eddie, Eddie King still come out and hype up the crowd for a little bit. And they'll bring out the announcers and then they'll start Rampage hot, right? Yeah. Um, so that's how that goes. So the updates. So, so for those who don't know, so, so Rampage is happening 10 at 10 o'clock live. Uh, uh, SmackDown is going to FS1 and, and have, and I did not watch SmackDown. I've only heard secondhand the announcements, but they're going to have some kind of super SmackDown. They are extending an extra half hour since they're on <laughs> FS1. They're not on Fox so that you don't have to worry about the 10 o'clock news. So they they have an extra half hour, which now bleeds into Rampage with some, including Tony Khan with some much hubris and, and foot stomping, I'm sure, uh, when he wrote the tweet. Again, I'm a fan of Tony Khan, I, but, but, and, and his adorable uh, 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 super fandom, um, but but uh, uh, declared a, a, a Friday night war of sorts for this half hour that's happening, and uh, I do believe Brock Lesnar is announced for that last half hour, and I do believe there's announcement that the, the half hour of SmackDown is going to be commercial free. So, and it's uh, Becky versus Sasha, and Becky versus Sasha is happening. Okay. To add on to that, apparently AEW has announced today that yep. they are going to do a what is this called again? A I, it's a a called a buy-in. It's called a free buy-in. It's, it's their it's their normal. It's like, a pre-show. They, they usually do it for pay-per-view pre-shows. Right, right. So they're going to do that, and I'm going to try to pull up the AEW account so I can get everything uh, pre pre precisely on there as it's oh, been I, announced. I can tell you exactly what it is. Well, so, so they're going to do that. <laughs> oh, I pull that mic up a little bit, Mike, so we can get your 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 announcement of the announcements. Um, we are going to get because obviously AEW is counter pro pro uh, counter programming me. 
Um, they got our buddy Lee Moriarty against Bobby Fish. Yes. We've already tweeted to him to please uh, beat him up like he owes a fr- somebody he knows money. We'll just leave that at that. And then we have Brian, Brian Danielson. Oh, my God. That's for real. Brian Danielson yep. versus, <laughs> wait for it, Minoru Suzuki. Mm-hmm. It's 100% real. Yep. I'm looking at the graphic now. First of all, there is that, and also I'm seeing a four major promotion graphic that has Brian Danielson, Minoru Suzuki, just alongside Lee Moriarty, um, and some other guy. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> um, holy shit! <laughs> I, I, I'm get, I'm excited for this. I will say one thing though. Mm-hmm. That better have another women's match. On the buy-in? Yeah, it's a half hour. It's an hour. It starts at nine. Oh, it starts at nine? Oh yeah, shit! Starts, yeah, they'll probably have nine. a women's match. They, I, I, well, okay. Will you be sad? Have no women's match. Should we yes. get? Wait, 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 let me finish. <laughs> if we get a half an hour of Brian Danielson versus Suzuki, still yes. Still yes. Still yes. Because if we get a half hour of those two, you're going to get a, a four-minute women's match. Sorg, they're introducing a second women's title. They That's need true. To start. They need to start having two women's matches on each show. Okay. I. If, if it's, uh, if it's two by hours. By the way, an update. An update. An update. An update. Uh, uh, Brian Daniels says in 2004, I wrestled Minoru Suzuki one on one, and he beat the shit out of me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Show me what violence and sadism inside a wrestling ring looks like. Since then, I've learned a thing or two about violence myself. And sadism. Am I saying that right? Sadism? Yes, yes, okay. Yes, you are. Uh, otherwise, it's sadism, and that means something else. Uh, excited to show Mr. <laughs> Suzuki what I've learned. <laughs> Fuck! Gonna, I love this place. They're going to beat uh, the fucking shit out of each other. I love this fucking promotion. Oh, uh, fuck. I, I will say it makes watching Danielson matches way more scary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mike. Your your mic's going away. You're oh, like oh, it's not oh, even oh, popping God. you up on Zoom right now. God damn it. Yeah, I know. I know. We'll work on this. Um, it, it makes watching his matches way more scary. Yeah. So I, I I'm worried for him. So so I there was an interesting tweet, and yes, and and I have concerns, but there was an interesting tweet. I think uh, 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 Sean Sapp maybe tweeted it, or or Bergman, or or. Uh, mm-hmm. Or uh, or or Hosman, one of those guys that I follow. Um, I guess I guess Daniel son uh, recently admitted that he can't trust himself with his own health when it comes to yeah. wrestling. Um, I know, and that's why I'm concerned. Yeah. No, no, that, that is a concern, but that, that is also a. And by the way, sorry. If you want a shortcut, just call him Brian because it works both ways. Yeah, I know, but I'm used to you know the first name has been Daniel. I, I don't I don't know. His first I, name it's, is I'm Brian. Just American just Dragon. Him. American yeah. Dragon. What was his What was his lucha name? He's the American Dragon. Um, I don't. It was uh, maybe it was it was just the American Dragon. Uh, when he was doing the lucha thing, uh, when he had his dark match. But um, mm-hmm. all right, we got We got to wrap the show because Ronnie's looking sleepy. No, I'm good. I'm just you're, relaxing. You're, you're, you're just chill, out, live, we're, laugh, we're Ronnie, love. Ronnie, we're still doing a show. You guys. Ron, Ronnie's in live, laugh, love mode over there. I'm up. <laughs> live, <laughs> laugh, love, baby. <laughs> live, laugh, love, baby. Oh, boy. Oh, guys, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Chat rooms. All of you chat rooms, let us know what you learned from wrestling this week. Garza learned. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Well, we found uh, him. So I, I gotta say, I learned that the Priory Church uh, facility on the north side of Pittsburgh is apparently not cursed to professional wrestling. That was only Blackcraft Wrestling. Again, I did, I was, I did attend the Enjoy Wrestling show, and that was uh, as an attendee. That is the most fun I've had at an indie show for a while. Um, so. Uh, 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 props to that crew over there. Uh, talked to a lot of friends that worked on that show, in, in, including uh, uh, Rich Bocchini, uh of MLW or in Warrior uh, uh, about you know uh, how the place was run and everything. And everybody seemed really happy. It was really cool. Katie was with me. We had a lot of fun there. It's a damn awesome venue. That church. 
we there's a some there's a thunderstorm happening in Pittsburgh on Friday night, and there's these giant stained glass windows and a dome at the top that stained glass as well. And and it was during the uh, facade and Danny were teaming up, uh, neon blondes against um, oh I'm so I think Evers and um. Damn, and he was on Rise too, and I can't remember his name right now. Um, but uh, Mick, Mick something. Um, I, I apologize. You, you guys were great. Uh, but but as the match was happening, um, the lightning was happening outside through the stained glasses, and, and it looked like a level from like Soul Calibur. Uh, it was really fun. So, uh, but no, That's really, awesome. really cool. Um, I, I I've learned that between that, like like Pittsburgh wrestling is about to freaking explode because not only the guys that we're working with do some really awesome stuff the people coming in like enjoy like this wrestle pit and palais pro out of texas is running a show here with wrestle pit uh and if you look at that card it's got it's got shane taylor and his whole crew from ring of honor it's got dan Housen, dombrowski and uh well we haven't talked about dombrowski uh dombrowski and veda um are doing commentary uh it, it looks ridiculous uh, it's called Blast Off. It's happening in November. I'm not going to be here, but we're going to, ha- in full disclosure, we, we actually signed on to, to help with the uh, production for it, and that's going to be on Fight and, and, and I think and, and stuff like that. So, um, but uh, but it, 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 it like really cool high end stuff is happening here, you know. And, and I and I don't know it's because like you know your Lady Frost, your Lee Moriarty's, you know, uh, you know, and everybody else has shown up on Dark. Uh, and all the other shows, it, it I, 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 you know, I feel like, you know, I don't think you have Palais Pro, you know, and, and Fest Wrestling involved with these two promotions, making something happen in Pittsburgh and working with the locals. Uh, if there wasn't this big, great talent base and fandom here, you know, and, and, um, and enjoy, um, I feel, uh, catered to an audience that almost nobody in the, in the area is. Like the people that show up and enjoy are not showing up at RWA, you know, and that's not, that's not, and that's not a detriment. That's a, there are different wrestling fans. You're not, you're not promoting to the same pool of wrestling fans, even in a city like this and in a smaller city like this, to be honest. Um, And I think that was illustrated big time between seeing enjoy and, and, and rise this weekend and what happens at RWA and these other promotions, like your, your, I saw barely any crossover on Friday night. Oh, between between Friday and Saturday, yes, but but between Friday and, and and other shows that I go to in the area, don't see it, don't don't see don't see it in mass at least. So it was, it was really really cool. So also I learned Joe Dombrowski also on MLW. He he debuts with them tomorrow for Alpha on YouTube good, for free. Go watch it. Him. Go good watch it. Him. And Beastman's on there. Well, I don't know if he's on tomorrow, but he's going to be popping up. So and we didn't even talk about Fightland, that was on Vice last week. So I'm probably the only one to watch that. So I'm sorry, I had a lot of stuff. It, it was an eventful weekend for me. <laughs> so, you learned a lot. Sir. Yes, I learned a lot. Ronnie Starks, what'd you learn from wrestling? I learned that wrestling is still fun and it's growing and it's going to be fucking amazing, and it's a good time to be a wrestling fan. Absolutely, absolutely, it's a good, good time to be fan, a wrestling fan in Pittsburgh. Holy shit! Mm-hmm. All this stuff, so much good stuff coming up here in the next next couple of months. Uh, Mad Mike, what'd you learn? I learned that. Mic up, mic up, mic up. That's the camera staring at me. I I learned that um, hopefully WWE gives us what we want mm-hmm. and, and crowns Xavier Woods. Exa- King Xavier Woods, and I hope he I, goes I, full really King for it. I hope he goes cool, King Booker style for this. I, I'm worried because he'd have to defeat Finn Balor. Mm. I'm worried. I'm worried. Uh, but that'd be, that could be a hot match if that's the it, final. It'll be, no, it'll be a great match. And like, if if it's Jinder versus Balor, we know who's winning. If it's Woods versus Balor, literally either of them can win. So, um, I got a few comments from the YouTube. Uh, first, uh, Garza is pointing out that Joe and Quato work together now. So is I know, uh, oh 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 I know, Sword. The first thing I said. Yes was we are one step closer to getting Dario Cueto on this show. Um, 
Yes. Uh, also, Jack, I, 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 it's a whole. It's gonna be a whole another podcast to explain why do, why does Vince Russo get as much heat as he does for ruining WCW? Uh, <laughs> so I could we we can have that conversation. But he, please, he please bring that up in the future. He champion, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I mean, he, I mean, he was a again a point of that, but not the the full on thing. There was the there was definitely some bad stuff there. Uh, Garza says. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's a learned or uh, so Garza uh, says I learned ROH saw all the kids playing in the park and their mom finally let the Briscoes come out to play. I'm also trying to learn how much is a flight to PA to address Mike via official sword cam. Well, you just do Mike's not even in PA. Yo, you I'm want me to send you a zoom link? So wait, wait, you want to you want to join me in the studio to talk to Mad Mike? Is that what's happening? So is, is Garza, that am i getting Garza, that right just get on zoom when dude I'm i'd say i'm sending him a zoom link next week whether he wants it or not yeah, just, just, <laughs> just get on zoom when i have a working headset so, yeah there's that too we're gonna fix mike's headset damn it oh. um and i don't see any learns in the chat room over on facebook uh but uh I, I think we're i think we're good to go here guys thank you so much thank you again doc oh, doc by the way, yes the penguins are first in the NHL. The Penguins are first in HML, yes. a, 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 NHL. NHL. And the best record in the NHL. Let's end the season right now. Oh, there you go. There you go. Thank you, Mad Mike, 483 on the tweets. We're going to try to fix that headset by next week. Yeah. Get the and, duct uh, tape out. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, I, I need to get some duct tape. Apparently, man. Uh, we did. Just keep holding your finger up there, like you have a. Uh, uh, yeah, a, a, it's a, like breaking news. It's yep. just like I did. Just watch some James Bond where they had that stuff mm -hmm. going on. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yes, exactly. Yep. Uh, uh, I'm I'm being told. Uh, Garza is a coward for not being in Facebook chat. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you That's go. Okay. Bring in the heat, brother. Um. Thank you, Ronnie Starks, for joining us as well. Enjoy your trip, and uh, your live tweet will be happening down in Universal Studios uh, for the, the Halloween and stuffs. Live tweets, uh, Snapchats, uh, all the good stuff. Snapchat? Who does that anymore? <laughs> A lot of people. <laughs> Ronnie Starks for the kids. Thank you, uh, Doc Doggerty, again. If you're in the area or if you want to check out later on streaming uh, ne sometime next week, RWA's Bloody Harvest. Go check out rwalive.com for all of the uh, latest information on that or their Facebook page. And uh, I will be in Chicago for Warrior Wrestling Sweet 16. A lot of friends of the show will be there, including Pretty Proper Beast Man, who's teaming up with War Horse. Can't wait to see that. Um, and I think the good guys are going to be there, actually, from... I hope that's not a surprise. Uh, but... <laughs> I think they were, they were they, yeah, they announced some of those matches. Oh, sure. God. Did I, how many NDAs did I break this episode? Um, this is why I don't, nobody tells me anything in wrestling. This is why I don't want to know anything in wrestling. Fix so. it in post. Fix it in post. That's right. We, we're live, <laughs> baby. And, uh, and uh, yeah, and I'll be in New York for Mad Mike things. Look for that stuff on Twitter and Instagram. That's Sorgatron if you want to follow my adventures as well and then the week out well we got M then we got M MMA and Bo MMA and boxing the next two weeks I don't, I don't even go to a wrestling show for a while after this I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this weekend being around the wrestles then because I don't think we got another wrestling show until uh, the second week of November at this point right so oh. ew, ew, what am I going to do anyways rest <laughs> <laughs> thank you everybody we'll see you guys next time oh top rope tabletop is now uh the 22nd uh so mark your calendars for that to join us on the live stream at indie wrestling.us that's all i got that's all i got thank you guys every time thank you guys wow i gotta get out of here my words aren't working we'll see you guys next time mayhem out just wait just wait just wait just wait This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.